All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to do part one of your project that will be due Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. So part one of the project is where you're going to be making the Fibonacci spiral. So remember, your whole goal is to make something like this. So I'm going to take you through the steps of how to do that now. So if you remember uh, from the first video that you needed to watch, your whole goal is to find the Fibonacci numbers. So what you're trying to do here is you're trying to draw out the one, the one, the two, the three, the five, the eight, the 13, the 21, and you probably won't have any room for the 34, but your whole goal is to make squares that have areas or have side lengths of this. So what we're gonna do uh, to start this off what we're going to do is we're going to start with just making a square that has a side length of one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start in uh, somewhere on the paper. I'm going to draw a square that has a side length of one. So what I'm going to do is with my graph paper, I'm going to draw out that square. As neat as possible. So this square is done. It has a side length of one. It is one by one. Now, the Fibonacci spiral, if you notice, can spin either left or right. So in this case, it's going to be spinning to the left. It's going to be spinning counterclockwise. So in order to do that, what I want to do is if I'm thinking about this, this is going to be spinning in this direction. So the next square that I'm going to be making that is a one by one is going to go off the top of this. So the first square, let's do colors with this. Let's grab red. So the first square is going to be here this red. Okay? That's it's a little hard to see. The second square that is a 1 is going to go on top of it. So that's going to go 1 by 1 here. And this square is done. Now again, we're trying to trace it out. We're going to be spinning in this direction, spinning in this direction. So the next square that we're going to be doing is going to be a 2 by 2. Okay? I'm not going to use yellow cuz it's going to be difficult to see, but I'm going to start using some green. So this next one is two by two. We're going to use this length here. Part of this is going to be here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this is length of two, and then we're going to go over two by two. And what do I create here is a two by two, two by two square using one of the edges. And that's what we're going to do every single time using a darker green. We'll just keep using all the colors here, my Crayolas. What I have here now is a three. So this, again, the spiral is going to be doing this. So the spiral is going to etch out and it's going to come down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this side right here. This side length is three, three. So I'm going to go down one, two, three. Down one, two, three and connect it. So now I have a square that is three by three. Going from here. We're now looking at a square that has a five. So notice, starting here, it's spiraling. It's spiraling around. So we're going to have to be going this way. Notice here, this has a side length of one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to go that way with it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And here is another square. Following the Fibonacci numbers, side length of five. The next number we're looking at is eight. So continuing this, let's look at this. Spiraling around, I could see that I have a long rectangle here, so we're going to use that rectangle side for it. This is two, one, which is three, plus one, two, three, four, five, which is eight across. So this whole thing is eight across. So we're going to go eight up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we go across. So now we have our eight. Going back with the red. Now we need one of 13. Well, this whole side length is eight. Plus 2 is 10, plus 3 is 13. So now we have to count out 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Let's just double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. If we just go up from there, we line it up. We line it up. We have our 13 by 13. And now the next one is 21. So this whole thing is 13 plus 3 is 16. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 across. So now we go 21 down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So now we're going to go down the 21 here. Notice I'm trying to figure out. Notice I'm like, kind of, all right, I need to go over from that line. Trying to match it up to see how far down. So I don't have to count it every time. There's my 21 by 21. Now the next number does not fit on my graph paper. Um, if I were to continue doing this, I would have to use this side and it would end up coming across this way. I've run out of space. But now what's really interesting here is if I take this and I start at that first one, what I'll notice, I'm going to start this with a pencil just in case I make a mistake. What I could do is I could start from here. And what I'm going is I'm making a curve from corner to corner. A curve from corner to corner. From this corner to this corner, we're making a curve. From this corner to this corner, we're making a curve. This corner to this corner, a curve. And what we end up getting here, and you might. When you're doing this, you might need to rotate the paper because that one's not that great. Rotating the paper. This is why I'm doing this in a pencil. What you end up etching out from corner to corner, you're trying to follow this curve. Corner to corner. This one's going to be the hardest because it's so large. Notice I'm going from two directions here. So we're not going to take that inner one. We're going to erase it. But what I get that I could etch out with a colored pencil. It's kind of dark. It's kind of hard to see. You know what? Let's etch it out with a marker. That looks a lot nicer. And it's cool because it's nice and colored. But what I have is the Fibonacci spiral based upon these rectangles. Now the nice thing, or these squares that are also formed with the rectangles. But what's nice about this is this is the golden ratio. And you could smooth this out and you'll learn in the other videos that these follow a ratio uh, uh, that is equivalent to a Greek letter called phi or phi, depending on uh, who you hear pronounce it. Um, I had professors calling it phi. Uh, most people call it phi, not like phi, phi, full foam. But here is the Fibonacci spiral that I'm asking you to do. Um, the next thing for here, um, because it is not labeled, um, I just want you to go through. You could either write it in the boxes. What I kind of like here is I color coded it. So like my first one here was red. So this is my red one. My orange one. My green one. My other green one, the blue and purple. But the whole idea here is understanding that. So what I'm looking for is you doing this. And if you want to try continuing it on this one, this is going to be kind of coming over. It's going to be kind of hard to see, but it keeps spiraling out and out. So part one of your project is doing this. Um, I would say make this a little more fun. Uh, I would color some of these boxes. I think that would make it a little nicer, coloring in the boxes kind of thing. Uh, so then we have an idea. But they have some sort of key to tell me which color goes with what. Uh, you can see here that I overlap some of the colors. Maybe it would have been better if I didn't overlap colors so that I know which box is for what. 
but this spiral works. If you want to go clockwise with it instead of counterclockwise, go for it. But what's kind of nice here when you see this all etched out uh, and doing it this way, you can see the different colors and how they actually all go together. You can see coloring this makes it look a lot nicer. So this is going to be part one of your project. Um, coloring of this is optional. If you want to label the inside of it with numbers instead of the coloring, feel free to do that. Um, but here you can kind of see this. It looks a little bit nicer. And I have my key here using this. Maybe you want to say like the blue one is this. I did have brown. I did have black. Uh, but if you have tons of different colors, notice the amount of ones that you'll be able to fit. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different boxes. So if you have eight different colors, that would be your best bet. So that's how you do part one of your project. What you will do is you will take a picture of this and you will upload it to Google Classroom.